Greetings! Today I've decided to start a new video series called Red Hat Process Automation Manager How To's. From now on, when you hear me say PAM, I mean Process Automation Manager. The reason I'm doing this is because people are telling me that sometimes it's really difficult to find out exactly how to do certain things using PAM, either because the, the information is very deep down the documentation or the documentation is simply too terse or does not provide any examples so people go to the internet to find out more about how to do certain things using PAM and sometimes they get the answers but unfortunately most of these answers are related to previous version of PAM so it may or may not work and that's why I'm starting this series the objective of series is give you something useful in a short time so no video will be longer than 10 minutes and the first how to is using business automation operator to actually create a PAM environment today I'm going to show you how to install process automation manager of PAM on OpenShift using the business automation operator in order to install any operator, you need to log into OpenShift using an account with cluster admin role. I've just logged in using such an account. And the first screen you see is the overview screen. In order to install the operator, we need to click on operators, operator hub, and then we want to filter by keyword, and the keyword is business. You can see that the first one is business automation operator. Click on it, and you see the screen. You simply click, and this is version 7.8.1. You simply click on install. And before I log into this account, I already created a project using a normal user account and the project name is user1pam. This means that I'm going to install the operator into this project called user1pam. Let's just click on install. You can see that. Is saying that it's installing. Let's wait till it completes the installation process. Now it's saying that it has succeeded. So let's click on this business automation operator. If you look at the right hand side, you'll see a link called the installer over here. So in order to guide you through the installation, you can click on this installer. Log in with OpenShift. Allow selected permission. You want to authorize all accesses. Just give your application a name. Just call it PAM Demo. And the environment we want to create is PAM authoring. This gives you Business Central as well as the key server for uh, deployment of your test system. You want to enable upgrades. The admin user, just call it admin password, anything you want. Next. Now, click on Next. And Next again. Now, if you page down, I want you to change the memory request and the memory limit parameters from the default to 6 gig
before, because the default is too small. And this is in the version 7.8.1. In subsequent versions, that is uh, the upcoming version, the default memory uh, size will be enlarged. So click on Next. Now you want to add a key server. Give it a key server name, just call it uh, key server. Deployment. Memory request. If you don't specify anything in here, just use the default. But I'll suggest you uh, enter at least like a four gig in there. CPU for the limit, four gig. Database, select the database type. I just use uh, MySQL. Click next. Uh, you can skip over this one. Next. So process instant migration, you can skip that as well. In here, what you can do is you can view the generated YAML. Right. You can copy it to clipboard and look at it later. And then you can click on cancel and then you just uh, click on deploy. Now you can go back to your OpenShift console. Just select the project. Go to workload, go to ports. You see that is already creating the environment for you. So right now it has not actually completed the installation, but eventually it will just filter the running ones. You can see right now the only thing that left to be ready is the business central. Now it's all ready. Now we want to get access to the Business Central, which is our development environment. Just go to Networking, Rouse, and click on this one. Now I just upgraded my uh, Chrome and now, now I'm getting this issue. Let me just uh, quickly just use the Firefox instead. Now I want to log into the Business Central. This is the password, user ID and password I enter during the setup. Don't save. And there, there you have it. You are into the Business Central. The takeaway from this how-to is that when you are using Business Automation Operator version 7.8.1, make sure you override the default memory allocation for Business Central and also Key Server. The default is 2 gigabyte and 1 gigabyte respectively. Make sure you at least double them or use the amount that I chose in the series. And then 
you should be okay. Until the next video, take care.